Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. It's me, Tiger. If you're new here, I make Animal Crossing videos here on YouTube and recently over on TikTok too. Be sure to like and subscribe if you would like to see more. Before we get into today's video where we'll be doing a very fun Animal Crossing challenge, I wanted to show you guys my newest tattoo. I finally got an Animal Crossing inspired tattoo. It's a lily of the valley plant. I'm obsessed with her. The artwork was based off of this beautiful ACNH flower doodle sheet by kiwi b over on twitter anyways this is my tattoo i'm just super excited about it and wanted to show you guys today we are going to attempt the three by three animal crossing challenge to complete this challenge you have to create a mood board slash tiny themed build inside of a three by three square i found it easiest to use a pathway to lay out the three by three square that way i had a clear visualization of how much space that i actually had i think i'm a little little late to trying this trend, but I've been seeing a lot of people share the results over on Twitter and it looks like so much fun. I had to try it and show you guys. Here are some screenshots of the 3x3 challenge examples that I found on Twitter. Very cool, very cute, very inspiring. Shout out to all these creators. I will link them down below in the description. I also did some digging to find the original creator of this trend and I believe it was WTRKN underscore ACNH on Twitter. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but that is the original creator that I could find. I will also link them down below. Thank you so much for coming up with this really fun challenge. Let's get into it. Like I said before, the main objective of this challenge is to fit a themed build inside of a 3x3 square. So the first thing I did was select a theme for the first space that I wanted to try to build. I decided to try a farm core theme for my first attempt. All I knew is that I definitely wanted to use the tractor and wheat field item. I I also used a potato crop and a cedar tree to add some height. It was honestly a struggle fitting all of these items into such a small space. Like the space looks small, but once you start adding items, I feel like it just shrinks like a million times. The front of the build was looking a little underwhelming, so I decided to cover the dirt in different custom designs to help make the ground pop and give more detail to the small area. At first, I thought that the tractor took up the entire front area, but then I realized that the dirt pathway just makes the squares look smaller on the sides if that makes sense so I could actually scoot the tractor over and still be inside of the 3x3 space and this gave me some extra room to place a flower and a tire toy which I thought turned out pretty cute this is how the farm core 3x3 build looks finished I think it is pretty good for my first attempt I really really like the wheat field item and the tractor those two items are like my top favorites in the game right now so I definitely wanted to use them in this challenge somehow let me know how you guys think I did with this one and let's go do some more I was having a lot of fun with this challenge and I had to try again with a different theme this time around I chose to create a rustic city 3 by 3 build I used a brick pattern to cover up my dirt square to give it more of a city feel I really wanted to use the medieval building side in this one it just looks so good and the perfect perfect size to create a nice backdrop in the 3x3 area. This build was very inspired by my farmer's market that I made on my island a few weeks ago. You can probably see the resemblance. I used some plants, a bicycle, and placed a garden table with a veggie basket on top. If I could go back and change something with this one, I think I would change out the table for something more rustic. Here's a look at the finished Rustic City 3x3 build. I think this one turned out really great. I love all the colors and I was excited to use so many of the newer items, especially the wall and the cruiser bike. I wanted to attempt the challenge one more time for this video, this time with a natural slash cottage type feel. I did this one a bit differently without using a pathway, just a 3 by 3 area in the grass. I used a tree, some shrubs, and also the wheat field item again. I wanted this space to look very lush and very natural, so I also added a flower. After adding all of that I wasn't left with much room for actual items so I tried to use a 
bunch of smaller items instead of bigger ones so I could achieve more detail in such a small space. Harv's fence also looked really good with these items so I stuck one piece of that in the back. I think this one might be my favorite out of the three builds I've done today. I love the natural look and the garden bunny is just too cute especially with the dragonfly and the wheat field item. Oh, it's just it's chef's kiss. Let me know below how you think I did with the 3x3 Animal Crossing challenge. Here are all three of my attempts. I tried farm core, rustic city, and natural themed builds today, but I would love to try some different themes that are out of my comfort zone with this challenge. So comment down below which themes you would like to see me try with this trend, and I might make a part two. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys try this challenge as well. I would love to hear about it. Have the greatest day or greatest night. I will see you all next time. Bye!